Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Let's, um... Let's continue where we left off. Not exactly. <laughs> um, so we're gonna skip over Coholent for a little bit. Only because... We've run into a level issue, more or less. So at this point... Sorry, I got distracted. Um, at this point, we can't continue with the characters we need to because of our level. So we're going to have to come back when we have enough rupees to boost up. So in the meantime, let us travel to Grand Travels. Because this don't look confusing as balls. <laughs> I don't remember. I know we came here for certain characters' ultimate weapons and or certain characters, I can't remember. Came here for some stuff. But I can guarantee you I do not remember what we were doing here or how to actually progress in this. Um, but let's get these Skulltulas out of the way because there's an easy one, I'm guessing an easy one here and one here. So let's, um, let's get these out of the way. Fight as Warrior of Lightning? Yeah, sure. How about we just play as whatever we want? I wish characters got passive experience from just being on the team with you. Because that would make it so much easier for this. <laughs> okay, so what is our sculptural requirement? We need... 1,200 enemies, and not losing 40% or more of our health, which should be easy enough. <coughs> should be. Kill them all, I say. Actually, let's grab this base while we're here. Lincoln Impa. So people. I'm glad they all ran that way. I'm gonna run to this target real quick. Get this this Gibdo probably. Yeah, I saw the thing. It's a Gibdo. I call foul. There's no reason that should have hit me. It's all cleared. Let's grab this. See a whole bunch of red just spawned as I took that base, or not base, the um the outpost. Yo, yo! My target. I leave yellow alone, unless they're my enemies, in which case I'll play them. Aha! What now, yellow? Toon Zelda. Oh, we haven't really played her. I forgot she has an armor. Like, we've unlocked her. I've just, I've, like, never played her. Okay, well, let's go southwest. One of those directions. Still need 20%. And I think I need. I'm just gonna snag this base. They got the keep boss up already, might as well.
Okay. This target should... Oh, it's Tingle. Should be what we need in order to get the Skulltula to spawn. So we have our kill count. Too easy. Okay, so where... Where is our Skulltula going to spawn? If he spawns up north, we're good. If he spawns down here, I can... I can snag it quick enough. What's up, Gov? And it spawned up there. Where is it? Oh, it's on the other side. How you doing, boss? Not too bad, not too bad. Just working on finishing the longest game in the world. At least for me, it's the longest game ever. One more picture piece. We'll do another stage to get the other one here, and then we'll continue with the map. It is, it's 8 a.m. So I guess not really early, but definitely earlier than anything else I've ever done. But there's a, there's a reason for it. So when I started streaming, I was working third shift at the time. Um. And, no, nah, I don't work Fridays right now. So on third shift, I would get out right around 7 a.m. So when I would come home, I would just go ahead and start up a stream. Um, in the past year, I've switched back to first shift. Unfortunately, making it a little more difficult, but I only work four days a week, so Monday through Thursday. Um... So I figured I would keep the 8 a.m. stream going just because I had already been doing it for close to a year. I didn't really want to change it too much because it was already kind of built into my schedule. And here we are, still playing the same game I started over a friggin' year ago. Damn. <laughs> like, it's legit the same game. It's not too bad. I won't lie, though. If I had the option, I would go back to five days a week. I don't like working longer hours to get four days a week in. Because I feel like I get home and I just have nothing. Like, I get home right around 5 p.m. and complete it 20 times. Not a chance. Still working on the first one, buddy. 
but you know, I get home like five o'clock, I just I get something to eat, maybe watch some some videos and stuff for like two hours, go to sleep, wake up in the morning again, and go back to work. It really sucks. And while it only gives me two more hours a day working five days a week, I just I feel like it's more easy to work with. Also, I never checked what the sculptural requirement was. Please don't be special attacks. It's just kill 1200, we're good. This dude is just running past everything. Stop, guy. But yeah, I don't know. Like I've done, I've done four tens. I've done twelve-hour shifts. I've done eight-hour shifts. I've I've had some really weird schedules, and ultimately, I think I'd rather work five eights. It just seems like the easiest one to deal with, and manage around. But as far as shifts, I easily prefer third shift. It's one of those things where. You know, you get out of work, every store is empty because everyone else is going to work at the time, and it just, everything seems so much easier with third shift, apart from some people can't sleep during the day, so I can understand that, but I've never had much issue just sleeping at whatever time of the day. Okay, so that should spawn the Skulltula. Just need to know where. It's up there. It's somewhere up here. suck at controlling cameras. Okay, seriously, where is he? I feel like this is too far. Mm, I don't see him. That's not good. And Skullshell Flood. Well, that sucks. Where the hell was he? I might have to turn up the speakers on my TV so I can actually hear where the Skulltula is. Because I did not hear a thing.
Okay, that'll hold them off. Uh... Let's go back up center. Actually, let's get these guys. Center should be able to handle themselves for a little bit. Just gotta kill Wizro and then we'll see if we can find the Sculptal again. should be spawning again. Okay. Sound is up, so I should... Nah, I still can't hear it. I can't turn it up that loud. It's too damn windy in this area. So my windows are louder than the game. I don't know where he is, though. I don't see him. finish. No problem, man. No problem. Take care. Enjoy the movie. So that stage is done as well. I need a train track. Okay, and then we still have to beat this again with an A rank because apparently we didn't before which is super weird considering it shows an A rank 
Unless we beat it with someone else. Wait, who was I supposed to bring with us? The Zelda or Toon Zelda? I'm gonna assume Toon Zelda. <laughs> but knowing me, I probably would have thought that the first time, which means... Maybe it is Zelda and I'm just crazy. Oh, it looks easy enough. Wait, there's none here? There you are. Toon Zelda's just like sitting in the bottom left, and I don't know what the hell he's doing. Or if she's doing. Mm hmm. Well, that was rather easy. <laughs> Now, there's a stage I don't mind playing over and over if it had good rupees. It doesn't, but if it did. <clears throat> hey, it was Toon Zelda. Okay, so I just... I guess I picked the wrong Zelda last time, maybe? I don't know. Okay, well, we can get an outfit now. What about Phantom Hourglass? I wasn't reading. So... Requires search. I don't know what we do here. When used on windmills. <laughs> okay. So... We get a train for winning, but there's fairy clothes, and we need to get... We need to win. Not A rank, but we just need to win it. We need the A rank, but... You know... Minor details, because we're just gonna... We're just gonna play Volga as much as possible here. Escorts. Oh, God. <clears throat> that is a lot of dudes right there. Hold up, guys. North Messenger is going to need help. Uh, we have Yellow. Rudo is with the South one right now. Sheik's just kind of... Or no, Sheik's with the South one. Where is... There he is. Took forever for that keep boss to appear. <clears throat> Mm 
messengers in trouble. It's this one. She's fine. Can you just dodge me. Okay, we gotta get up north and save this messenger now. Shouldn't be too bad. running that way. We just cleared out the whole middle for him. Grabbing that real quick. Okay, well I need to take this space because that's where he's running, so... So we're safe there. Messenger should be real easy to just kind of swoop in and go. Let's go back and clear this middle base out because we're about to get slammed. I see a bunch of red dots going in here. I don't like that. Three for one. Actually, we only killed two of them. No matter. It's all clear now. Let's go this way. So many Denalfos, man. So I think we need a rank? I don't remember. No, this one was fairy clothes and beating it. I mean, we need a rank, but irrelevant, right? We'll get it regardless. Okay, just gonna grab this base so that we don't have any raid captains spawning down here. Plus, we need some extra kills, right? Very close. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here. So now we just go up toward their bases. Need to get another, like, 300 kills. 200, 300-ish. Escort Baby Kuko to Mama Kuko. I don't know where Mama's at. But we have this whole bottom area, so they should be fine. Summoner is in the northeast. We'll ignore that for now. I'm not too concerned. These stall children aren't going to do anything. Okay, that's clear. Only need another 12 kills, so we should be good just to go for boss. I don't think there was another reward, so I think we're fine. 
pretty sure it was just the fairy clothes. Didn't mean to do that. I don't know what that train does, as far as item-wise. Drop that. Don't need that one. Don't need that. That 500 one, though. Oh, baby. Garbage. I'm gonna throw that one out because it's 88 strength. There's no reason for me to. I mean, obviously it could be a good ability, but at this point I'm not too concerned with other characters' abilities. I'm not building ultimate weapons by any means. Increased damage during focus spirit that actually sounds nice. Don't really care for the adversity one, but but who knows, right? Get rid of that one. We have other 5,000s we can work on for heart power if we need more. Uh, let's actually throw out this one, too. Tingle just has all garbage. I'm not too concerned. <laughs> Regular attack, I guess. It's it's like, you know, if, you're, if your normal base attack does more damage, it's not a bad thing. But it doesn't really do much. It's just kind of there. Part of me wishes they could hold Young Link Grand Travels. Part of me wishes they could hold more than 20 of each weapon, but at the same time, it's like the only oops, it's the only thing that forces me to actually equip other stuff. Or to sell. And God knows I'm horrible at item management. So Young Link Grand Travels. What do we got? It's like a red. I guess it's a red color. That's red, though. This is, like, maroon-ish? What do you call that, like, nasty red? Like, his, his, his headpiece. I can't turn him. Can't turn him, but his head, um, hood? Hood, maybe? That's still red from the looks of it. Like, it's kind of a little bit darker, but it doesn't match his outfit, and it looks weird. I'm still down for the Happy Mask Salesman. Mainly because of the super bright purple, but if he didn't have the red hair, it would be perfect. Okay, so bottom corner is done. Everything. Good, good, good. What the? What's this? What's this? Who are you? Opens routes. All routes that require a battle rank of C to open. What? What do I do here? I mean, I'm still missing four items, so I don't... I don't know what to do. I also don't know what that is. Okay, so we have KO count is irrelevant. These two are specialty ones. We know what the windmill looks like. To catch fish. Boulders. Does this count as a boulder? It shouldn't, right? Oh, there's nothing 
to search, right? Is there? No, there's nothing to search. What is the dude? Who, who is he? I guess we just play it and find out. I don't know what... I don't know what this is. Or what it's supposed to be. Super confused. But killing bosses? I can, I, I can do that. Not a super big fan of killing Ganon, but we'll manage. <laughs> Phantom Ganon and Ganon both. They, they suck. Okay, where am I starting? Bottom center. So if we go left, we can kill whoever that is. Let's go that way first. Who is the left one? Please be Helmrock. Yes! Okay, Helmrock, I'm ready. Head down. Head down, we're playing 7 up. Bam. Anyone else remember that game back in school? Played 7 up, they would have you put your head down on the desk. And then you would sit there and you had to like put your thumb up, and then some random person would walk by, put your thumb down, and then you had to try and guess who was the one that, that tagged you, and all good fun, right? It missed! Oh my god, how did that miss? Try again. Oh my god! Stop. How, how am I missing this? I want a refund. What's up, Jay? Okay, one boss down. Let's go in the center and see who's there. Phantom Ganon. Oh, jeez. Hate Phantom Ganon. There we go. Got him. How you doing, boss? <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Can't complain much on my side. Okay, Phantom's down. That should just leave normal Ganon, which also sucks to fight. Oh, he still hit me. What a snot. I can't throw the boomerang. There we go. Gotta say, I like the design for Ganon in this, but it is super tedious. Okay, that should just leave arrows. Oh. What's up, boss? And then one arrow to the forehead after this jump.
Okay, and then this probably won't kill, so we'll just use the magic gauge to to get him down after that. Because screw Ganon. Much appreciated for the follow boss. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so that finishes that up. Um, guess we do this one too. This one looks a lot, a lot longer of a stage. Okay, got one captain here. Try and clear out the southeast real quick because it looks messy over there. Let's um, grab the outpost, we'll head back to the center, and then <clears throat> and we'll just kind of keep going from there, I guess. Looks like the Blin ran into the base. the center, I guess, just to get that out of the way. And 
messengers. I'm coming. That is the shortest messenger route ever. They want you to stop him normally. I was super lucky to be right next to him. Then okay, where were you? Outpost. I just saw a name. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that actually killed all of them there. Good. Uh, whatever these two guys are, we need to kill them. Okay, we got that done. Southwest, and we're done. Easy. We do not have enough kills, though. That's a problem. Mmm. I am most certainly down a couple hundred kills here. Unless we can get them all here. Although it's not looking like it. Just have to stay away from the keep boss for a little bit. Let's kill off the little dudes. Where is he? Oh, we're at 16. Never mind. We're good. Where does Zelda go? Damn, I didn't realize there was this many guys in here. I didn't need to farm kills at all. Get him! Cool, cool. Okay, one more stage down. Never got the heart container for Sia here? Oh, God. I hate having to play stages twice because I screw up. Mm. Let me work on... Probably just finish that row up actually. What do we have to do for this? Rock. Probably rock. Okay, so Toon Link, second level weapon. Let's see if we can get away with two characters. Fantastic. doing here? Just killing stuff? Oh, this is find the clone, isn't it? Okay, so we need to find the magic dudes.
Oh, is this not the clone one? Are we just killing him? My bad, I thought it was the clone stage. Where it's like you kill the magic guy and one of the clones disappears and... Oh well. This is fine too. Can't hit Zant. He's being a snot. There was no reason for me to kill those guys. Lana! Lana! Nice and easy. Okay, so, and then we can start going north and get all this other stuff. Fi. Ugh, god. Everyone loves playing Fi. Just need an AR oh, groupie competition. Okay, I'm cool with that. And I don't have to play Fi, never mind. <laughs> we do need to include her, though. That 700 damage weapon, though. If only she was good. If only I was good at playing her, let's put it that way. Let me rephrase that part. She's got some wicked AoE for just, like, kill competition stuff, but... Okay, where's the... Where's our rupee, guys? Kills all of us because we can, right? Just to be a snot. The enemy gets more than 50 rupees, we're doing bad. Back here, Zelda. Can't let you live and get rupees. That's not a thing. Rupee gathering report, you don't want to know. Wait, how'd they just get 500? They just killed a captain. Those oh, little shits. Captain now, buddy. Yeah, we got a rupee fairy. We gotta rush over for that. One of the Zeldas came back. I've told you already, Jay. If not, though, don't worry. Um, I pre-ordered it a month before it came out. 
and target has completely been screwing me over. So, at release, they sent out an email that pre-orders for target for um, Sword and Shield were delayed by two weeks. So, I'm still waiting for my pre-order. Don't know why they were delayed, but they were. And everyone got pissed because the only reason anyone even pre-ordered from Target, here anyway, was because they um, they announced they were giving out a steel book for it. And they announced that, like, less than a month before release. So people had already pre-ordered everywhere and canceled their pre-orders to switch to Target for the steel book. And then they told everyone, yeah, sorry, it's going to be delayed. So... A lot of people were pissed. Myself included. Not to the point where I really cared enough to, you know, flip out or anything with customer service, but it, it means I, I'm not willing to cancel the pre-order and buy it again, because I'm just sticking with uh, I got a dual pack, so I will have both. But I intend on playing Sword. But yeah, super good publicity for Target. You got shield. Nice, nice. <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. Too many, too many Dark Zeldas alive right now. We need to kill them. They're stealing all my rupees. They're back down to 100. That's better. Really, really fair numbers we got here. I got 10 grand and they're at 600. I love these rupee farming levels though. They're so good. At some point, I'm probably just going to be playing these. He does attack fast, but he also... Um, I have an ability on my weapon called Hasty Attacks that doubles my attack speed. At least I think it's double. I could be wrong. It definitely increases attack speed. Yeah, I, I haven't played a lot of Fire Emblem Warriors, but the thing I did like about it was that the magic thing for, like, healing. I love what they did with that, because in this game, the only way to heal an ally is for wait to them to be, like, quarter health, and then you just run up to them and, he and it heals them to full. But you have to wait for them to be low, so if you save someone and they're at, like, 40%, you have to leave them alone until they, you know... So they take more damage, and then you have to rush back to heal them, and it just sucks. I hate it. Because there is no, no healing in the game. All these Dark Zeldas. But yeah, there is a ton of character variation in here, and it's it's a lot of fun. 
Because you have some characters that are like super... There is no pair-up system in this one. You can't pick up allies or anything like that. That's a shame. I mean, kinda. You wanna know a funny story though? I didn't know pairing up an, an emblem was a thing until like after we beat the game. Like the story mode. Didn't even know it was a thing. We, we were just kind of fooling around because I played with someone else. So we did the whole game in two player. Which, notably on Fire Emblem Warriors two player, enemies don't spawn for shit, man. Oh my god, it was horrible. Like, like the areas you would walk in, there was like nothing there, and then just like a random mob would just spawn right in front of you, and I don't know, I feel like the spawn rates, I don't know if it was just the Switch was holding it back, or if it was a game issue or what, but it was depressing. Where'd Zelda go? Get back here. It just it made it super difficult because we actually a lot of stages we had to replay because we couldn't get we couldn't get the A rank because of the spawns, the kill requirements. And it just really frustrated everything. Or S. Sorry, it's A max in this one. Yeah, twenty-five thousand to one hundred and fifty. Now that's that's a score right there. <laughs> Twenty-five thousand a match, though. That's good. That 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 could farm this one a good amount of times and get these characters leveled up. Yeah, pretty sure we had the same thing, but it was it was one of those things. Someone went to the bathroom. We went back to to a rank something while the other one was busy. It just was super depressing because again, the game just it felt like it was not running the way it was supposed to. I mean, granted, there's still spawn issues in this game. There's a few where... <sighs> I've ran into an issue in this where, let's say, there's a target you're prote you're supposed to protect and he's being attacked. You run to the area and they're not there. But it keeps giving you the warning saying he's about to die. And you can't do anything because they're not spawning on screen because there's too much other stuff spawned elsewhere. And it's just super depressing. So it just like it makes the game more difficult, but I wonder if it if it wasn't on the Switch, would it still have the same issues? Like if at any point they get this thing emulating, would it be able to fix the spawn issues with the game and just you see the enemies everywhere? Because that would be amazing. I mean, it, it definitely could just be a, um, like a programming issue, just that, you know, they never, they never optimize stuff like that. And if that's the case, there's not really anything we can do, it's just the game. See, I want to say the frame rate dropping, though, that's just straight up the Switch, I feel. So I don't think the Switch can handle some of the high movement in this game. <laughs> I still have yet to pick up three houses.
Toon Link Grand Travels. Let's see what our new outfit looks like. Wait, what just happened? I don't know. Am I gonna stream Sword or Three Houses? Um... I don't know. <laughs> Like, if we do stream three houses, I don't think that'll be anytime soon. Sword. I just finished the, the Soul Silver playthrough with the um, randomized Nuzlocke stuff. So I don't know if I want to do another Pokemon game so soon, but... Also, not a, not a huge fan of the outfits for this. I get the references. Not a huge fan of the outfits. <laughs> We might stream the Pokemon one, though. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I have it. We'll get it eventually, I promise. Maybe. Okay, so this one's Midna. Oh, don't worry, Jay. I have literally every time I stream, someone has asked about Sword and Shield. And I have to tell everyone the same story. It's really depressing. Oh no, don't 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 take it like that. It's just it's one of those things where I really wish I had it right now, but at the same time I'm just kinda I got nothing I can do. It'll be here eventually. No problem, no problem. I don't remember who I've told. I just feel like it's come up so many times. Where am I? Let's go this way. It might not ever get there. <laughs> I mean, that would be pretty bad. Then, then a target owes me my friggin' hundred something bucks back. Okay, Zant's dead. Those guys, real quick. Oh God, please don't make me do Mirror's Edge again. I still regret playing that game. I do want to try another Infamous game, though. Like, that's a game that I've definitely wanted to replay again. Not replay, but we played um, Infamous Second Son. And I really wanted to try another one, because I did enjoy that game. Despite the fact it's kind of open-worldish. Where you have the freedom to, like, run through the city and whatnot. But I still did enjoy it. So I want to try a different one as well. Possibly. I mean, it could just be the, um... Maybe it was just the choices that made it more exciting for me. The whole, like, good versus evil choices. It put a nice little swing on it that made it not... I don't, I don't know how to word it. It was different. From what I'm used to. If you like that stuff, Mass Effect is a thing. I feel like I've tried Mass Effect. I have to check my Steam... My Steam account. But I'm pretty sure I played like three hours of it and then just hated it and gave up. could be wrong. I might be thinking of a different one. Because there's a few game series that people have asked me to try at some point. And I just never got into it.
Okay, we have that spot. Yvonne Stravsky. Yeah. If I didn't butcher that name, I would be shocked. <laughs> Perfect. The Yvonne part's the only one I feel like is probably good. But I feel like I've seen that name before. The person that announces names at graduation, yeah. <laughs> What made it good? The fact that I had like that questioning sound with it, where I, where I clearly wasn't sure what I was trying to say. Chicken time. Super depressed you can't play a cuckoo in this. Uh, four will be starting tonight. It's all good. Should be about as good as any any um, Final Fantasy game I've played off Steam so far. So I expect lots of crashing, lots of auto saving. This is just a train. It's part of the adventure. No, it's not. It shouldn't be if it is. Much rather a game being perfectly stable and me just failing at it than the game crashing and me losing progress or, or having to resort to auto saves picking me up. Vulnerable to arrows. That's a Poe, right? It's totally a Poe. Oh, screwed that up. Oh, the Poe died first. We killed them both at the same time. I think the game just kind of gave me that one. <laughs> okay, we got lucky. I absolutely killed them both together, though. to bombs, lizard. Lizard!
Final question. Who is vulnerable to... Boomerangs? I don't know. You? Mmm, I could be wrong on this. Oh no, we were good. I was gonna say, I don't remember what Gibdos are weak to in this. But I don't remember it being boomerangs. I don't remember either of them being boomerangs, to be fair. Yo. Sing you a lullaby. I can't sing. Like, my voice is not designed for singing. It's 9 a.m. and I haven't slept. I agree, it is 9 a.m. <laughs> I actually woke up like three hours ago, though. I don't- I, I can't sing lullabies, though. I can recommend, if you want to, there is, um, on YouTube, I think it's like Joshua Sanders or something like that. He has a music box channel, and he does a very good Pallet Town music box theme for Red and Blue for Pokemon. Very, very relaxing music box music. Who am I supposed to bring in here? I can't remember now. I got distracted. <laughs> Oh, no one, it's just a stage. Whoops. I thought I was supposed to bring in someone specifically. I don't even know- I don't even know any lullabies, to be honest. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> there is a YouTube channel that does music box stuff. Um, if you search, I think, Pallet Town music box it should come up i think it's like joshua sanders or something like that years ago i found it and it was super relaxing and if you're willing to go crazy with money you can actually order an, a physical music box too and it is super expensive would not recommend i'm stuck I'm like stuck perpetually in froze slash dead state here. Gibdos are horrible in groups. Easy stage. Yeah, I don't know if I can find it. Joshua Saunders, not Sanders. There, that one. I don't need copyright claims, so I won't play it, but... But... It's a, it's a very relaxing melody for Pokémon. And if I could, if I could, you know, throw a good hundred-something bucks to the side, I would get a physical music box with that playing in it.
I just don't want to spend that kind of money on it right now. If I ever have a kid, though, if I have a kid, that kid's going to get a music box that plays that. Horror movies ruined music boxes. I almost want to ask how, but at the same time, I like music boxes, so don't ruin that for me. <laughs> don't ruin it for me. I like this map. Everything is two character stages. This is going fantastic right now. Like, I don't have to play anyone. At least not specifically anyone. It's giving me a lot of freedom. Ah. But like, in what context does a mu music box get ruined? It's like using little girls singing nursery rhymes. Uh, okay. I think I get where you're going with that. Where am I? Oh, wow. I'll, I started way up here. Let's go kill this target first. And you wanted me to sing you a lullaby knowing that? How do you know it wouldn't have got super creepy if I started singing a lullaby? <laughs> Sometimes you don't need to know, though. What the hell's a Nelly? That was a Missy Elliot. It's a two pack. Listen, buddy, I don't know this stuff. You're losing me. Where am I supposed to go here? Two pack, haha. I'm, I'm guessing that's not how it's pronounced, then. Well, I know it didn't have the K, but still. Sorry to hear he passed away. Yeah, no, I don't know this this stuff. I don't know music. You hear that weird one? Ha! Huh. I do know Mary had a little lamb. I don't know the entire thing, but I know, like, the first three lines. Yes. Yes, I know that one. Alphabet. Wait, there's an alphabet song? I mean, just reading the alphabet, right? Or is there an actual song for this? Now, now I'm curious. Oh god, Skulltula, I am nowhere near the Skulltula. Oh my god, no. I am never gonna make it. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. 
probably should have ran the other way. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Get some rest. Come on, please still be there. Got it. Don't tell you what to do. Well, screw you. I hope you start dreaming about your stupid friggin' evil horror music box shit. And wake up 50 times having friggin' nightmares. Damn. Too brutal. <laughs> I like how you just say rude. Take care, man. fairy. Why is this messenger still not done yet? Dude has been over there forever. I don't lose if Medley dies, do I? No. Link or messenger. We're good. Why is this messenger not finished yet? Like, there's nothing here. Oh, we have to take the base. I was gonna say, there's like nothing stopping him. Okay, now we're good. That's pretty much everything here. So all that's left is taking that other base and we should be fine. Is there an item in that base? Or would it be good to just ignore it? No items, good. That'll be Skull Kid's heart container. So let's do that one again for the other Skullshula real quick. Just to get it out of the way. It wasn't a super difficult stage. I just need to make sure I have someone up there ready for the, um, the Skullshula to spawn. So I'll probably send one of them up there right away.
And I made sure to switch where Volga started just so we can get this played out a little easier. Take these guys out beforehand. This messenger should be able to turn in almost immediately then. don't need a rank we just need to just need to get that sculptula so we need our kills actually is there a different sculptula requirement capture five or more keeps okay so we just need keeps easy Another messenger appeared. Wait, did we get two sets of messengers last time? I don't remember that. take that base real quick and then we're fine there and I need to run back to my base actually but let's wait we already control this doesn't matter I thought we had to take that base okay back to ours real quick Should be good. Let's grab that outpost real quick, prevent some spawning. Let's grab this base. Now, do we just need five total or I need to capture five of theirs? Because I think we've only gotten this will be three or four. Probably three. go southeast and we'll just run back up. Something spawned in the bottom left base, and I don't know what it is. Hopefully they kill him. Because losing that base is just annoying. So far out of the way. Okay, that should be the Skulltula, which luckily enough, we're right next to it anyway. Yep. Let's 
So despite the fact that I made sure Link was right here, we're good. Oh, it is going, man. How you doing, boss? Hasn't been too bad today. This particular map has, so far, really easy objectives. So I feel like I'm actually making a good amount of progress. As opposed to the last couple ones where there was a lot of stages that took an excessive amount of time. But I don't know if it's just because we're getting into like later DLC maps. And they just, you know, didn't put as much effort into them. Like my ex-girlfriend, Easy Giggity. Alrighty then. Should raise your standards there a bit, Misfit. Don't always go for the easy ones. Oh, don't worry, Justice. I'm not normally an early morning person either. I just, I used to work third shift, so this was a time frame that fit that schedule very well. And when I switched the first shift, I didn't really want to stop. So I kept going with it. Made the mistake of recharging your switch, and now the Pokeball won't show up? Pokeball won't shut up. I have no idea. I never bought the Pokeball for it. You mean for the Let's Go games? Because I got Let's Go Eevee, but I never... I never bought a Pokeball for it. It might be a glitch type thing. I don't know what to I don't know what to do for it though. So I, I unfortunately cannot help for this situation. Just tells you when Pokemon are around. Interesting. So we need to do this. Defeat giant bosses in time. We got this. No, no, I've played Pokemon Go. But I've never used the Pokeball for it. I'll be honest, I didn't know the Pokeball was compatible with it. But if that's the case, you should be able to go into the app and deactivate Bluetooth connection with that particular um, item. a spider, not a crab. That's Goma, man. 
At least I think Goma's supposed to be a spider. I could be wrong. Should kill. Nice. I would like Tokyo Ghoul. Are you sure? I've seen a lot of the games you play. I feel like shooting games are not my style. It's not a shooter? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a dig at the games you play. I'm not saying they're bad games, they're just not the kind of games I play. Also, that's an outfit for Impa. I wasn't reading. It's not a game you normally like, and you like it. Okay, okay. It's a mix of anime and this. So just a bunch of running around slaughtering everything. Mindless violence. The best stuff ever. The lolly was like, I don't know. Oh, wait, we actually only have him for this stage? Oh, this could be rough. I have not played Toon Link yet, so I don't know what he does. At least I haven't played him with this weapon. So... Let's see how it goes. Oh my god, we can summon a train. That is so good. All his attacks just summon trains. <laughs> That's all they do. It's so weird. Choo choo. I don't know why I curved the left there. I'm really bad at controlling. Practice only makes you better if you're already good. For me, it's just another way to play. Oh, you're streaming right now? Take care, man. don't know how to use his special gauge. Oh. Okay. Got it. You can extend how long the train is out. This is horrible, though. Just throwing that out there. Like, this is taking forever to kill anything.
gotta say, I am not a fan of this weapon. Why is... Oh, does it slow them down, too? Oh... I didn't know it was doing that. I was gonna say, why the hell is his attack going so slow, but... Yeah, that's just slow... Okay. A little more interesting. I don't think that makes up for me not liking the, the weapon, though. Is that a mandala down here? Is that what's going on? Yes. <laughs> Summoner's down. Okay, let's get this tar- we gotta get these mandalas down. I don't know where our base is as far as hit points, but... These moblins are ruining me. Let's go this way. They should be okay to handle the, um... The raid captains, I hope. There's two stocks in the north base from the looks of it. We do need an A rank though, so I need a crap ton of kills. Oh, there's no stocks up here. Never mind. We had already finished them. without killing the keep box. I mean, we have a few bases we can still collect, so... Probably doesn't matter. Okay, we have a boss key, so we can finish at any point, more or less. Zelda, no! She dead. I just lost. Well, that's a shame. That was a real stupid way to lose. It's just, I do so little damage with this weapon. I, I should... Here, hold on. We're switching weapons back. Even if that one's the element advantage, we just have way stronger swords. Yeah, we have a 500. So let's transfer... I don't think he has a heart power. We can transfer defenseless over. Just to make it slightly more useful. Just to double check, what do we have? I have absolutely nothing but defenseless. Okay. I'll take it. What do we have for badges, actually? Oh, uh, 
we never even unlocked his combos. That explains why everything was using the same thing. They were all triggering the train. Mmm. Okay. That makes a little more sense. Still doesn't make me want to use it, but it makes more sense. So... I mean, apart from me just being straight bad, he's dying a lot quicker. So that's progress. Dude, the Mandala stocks spawn right away. I didn't even realize that. Uh, I think the rest are all in the north. That's super lucky they all spawn together. some good range too or not good range good um aoe did not mean to do that Maybe I shouldn't take this base. That's where Toon Zelda is. If she dies, we're kind of boned. And if we take that base, she's probably going to go east and kill herself. Okay, these two are raid captains. Okay, let's... Mm, Zelda's getting swarmed, hold on. Hold on just a second. Magic circle. Oh, so we were supposed to take this base first. Yep. Okay. Never mind. I should have taken that. I didn't know taking that was gonna make the circle appear. That's a that's a mess up on my part.
Still need to manage out like another 300 kills though. Okay, and that's heart container. Good. Good. Let's go down and left. We'll cut off this target, dude. Does it look like that's where he's heading anyway? Oh, that was such a good amount of kills. need 20 more kills so at this point as long as there's no item in that last base there is not we just run right to the boss bye Toon Zelda bye See, I feel like they were screwing me over, because even Lana, she's not weak to a fire weapon. Why is it telling me to use the, the sand thing? Like, nothing about this level seems like it would have been a good idea. Gomer! weapon. Aw, oh, so close. So close. I'm actually shocked it did as well as it did there. Oh, whoops. I got distracted. <laughs> Okay, and that's going to give me a lower rank weapon than what we already have, but we didn't get it before, so. Oh well. Two million. So now that we have two million rupees, I can almost guarantee that we're, we should be able to go back and get at least one of the stages done from the previous map. So I think we're going to do that before I finish for today. Twenty-four percent. I don't remember where we started, but I know it was somewhere between like ten and fifteen percent, so that's not horrible. Let's go back to Koholint. Now there's a bunch of stages here we need to work on. Um, still don't have enough for that anyway, so we can't do that. Let's do one of the weapon stages. So we have Linkle's boots. Ugh, Agatha. You know, I want to say... Agatha is going to be the harder one to deal with, so we should probably do hers. 
Because all of these weapon stages I'm stuck on. I still can't believe I'm stuck on Rudos. That, that's that's horrible. Um, yeah, let's try Agatha. Let's get her out of the way. We still need to find fairy clothes here while we're working on this. So, badge-wise, we can do this top one, which does nothing. But we'll do it because we can. Might as well just max out Agatha. Wait, hold on. Yeah, she has the keep thing. We're fine. Might as well max her out. It's irrelevant, but... I'm not maxing that one out. No one ever does that, right? Maybe? How much to get to 100? Ow. Oh, that is so expensive. I want to say I don't need that much. Let's try 90. Only because we did get silver on this. I don't know what we got stuck on. But I feel like 100 might be overkill for whatever we're doing. Um, so she doesn't have a 500. Right? Oh, she does. With heart power. Is there anything else we can transfer to make this easier? There is not. She has nothing. Okay. Only heart power it is. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, this one? No. This one? This one. Let's go with... Weak point smash. I want to say weak point smash will help in any situation. Or breaking guards. Ugh. I don't really care for her special attack, so that one doesn't do much for me. Okay, let's go for weak point smash. Where's the auto button, this one? Okay then, let's, um, let's do this. If we can get this stage done, I'll be happy for today. What are we doing here again? <laughs> uh, Skull Kid, bunch of Denalfos. Who do we have to protect? Twilight Midna. Let's do it. I should have grabbed that statue while I was there. That was the wrong button for sure. They got that. Let me grab this base. So time is going to be a big issue for this. If I had to guess, it was likely time that we messed up last time. Because we just weren't killing them quick enough. Um, I'm going to go down this way. Keep that outpost taken. I'm gonna grab this and then head south. We're just gonna set that to Ocarina because I'm sure we're not gonna need anything else. Try and get some AoE damage in. I forgot her skill is really bad.
That should get the two raid captains out of the way. Let's turn around. Grab the outpost. Miss horribly. Okay, let's, um... I want to grab that southwest base, but there's a huge group of red guys coming straight from my base. So we're going to be distracted for a second. Flying way too far. Is he back? I think he's still too far away, actually. Damn. I was hoping we can get them both there. There we go. Uh, I'm guessing these two are raid captains again coming from the southwest. Yep. Okay, we're gonna grab the southwest base, try and push the raid captains back a bit so they're not bothering us as much. another group going for our base. Let's try and stop them and then we'll head for the bottom center base. There's also some raid captains coming in from the north center yellow base from the looks of it. Wow, that was bad. So I tried auto attacking to get the first combo and it just it did not like that. It did not let me use my first combo. I keep trying to hit it way too soon after dashing, and it's just kind of eating the input because I'm hitting it too soon. Oh, Raid Captain spawn way over there now. They're not even spawning in the, in the bottom center. Interesting. God, I keep hitting the button too soon. It's one of the reasons I dash, like, after every single one. I, like, dash real quick because I'm trying to reset the input, kind of. Or hope that's what it's doing. So I feel like time-wise we're doing okay. Um, we do still need 600 kills. That weak point smash increase though. I really should just be waiting for the weak point smash thing because of the increase we have. It'll kill them much quicker. And Skull Kid was one of those guys where it's actually really easy to, to counter him. At least it felt like it was. 
I don't think he normally is. At least not for me. Keep Twilight Midna safe and she's gonna go rush the boss. Good. Easy, no problem. Okay, so we still need a crap ton of kills. More than I should at this point, considering all we have to do is kill the boss. Okay, let's um, let's head up our base again, and then apparently lose the northeast base. That's happening too. I didn't mean to turn around there. Oh, the lock-on kind of screwed me on that. I was going to try and hit both at once. At least kill the big guy before we go. Um, who do we still need to continue? Just kill this guy, right? We can't do anything else. Again, wait for the counter. If we can get him to open a weak point. There we go. No, I didn't. I forgot how you open a Denalfos' weak spot. That sucks. Let's kill him, I guess. Shenmue 3 is out and it has mixed reviews. Mixed user reviews or critic reviews? Because, like, people have been salty as hell for the past year or so when it comes to, like, actual reviews. They have just been leaving, like, the worst and best at the same time. Like, completely undecided. They, they, they've been doing it with, like, every game, just because they're all being salty. Critic reviews. Hmm. Interesting. Need a weak point smash. Open. Missed out on the original. Won't lie, I never even heard of the original. I've heard of Shenmue 3 with all the stuff going on recently, but I can guarantee you I had never heard of this when it came out the first time. So mad I missed that weak point right there. Well, we're at 10 minutes actually, we're doing great. I thought we were way closer to the max time. We have all the kills we need. Pretty good right now, actually. I can just juggle him for another minute and we're fine. And I screwed up. No! way to play Agatha. It does so little damage, but you can lock them down. Per I say, I, I'm about to say permanently and then I screw it up. We did it. We got the A rank. All it took was boosting like 26 levels. Recently played HD version. Cool, cool.
8 bit rupee. She gonna attack with a rupee. Alrighty then. It's so weird. Uh, now we go back to saving up rupees again, though. Does Link have a multi element weapon for this? He does not. So that 500 one is still our best option. Hmm. He has a lot of 5,000s. We should probably get rid of some of those. Like, there's no way I'm working on all of them. Get rid of that one, too. Okay, then. One more stage down. I don't think any other stages had to do with Agatha. Let's see, so got Marin, Darunia, Marin again, Impa, Rudo, Skull Kid. What else had us stuck? Linkle. All of those characters are the ones I'm concerned about. Let's see, heart containers. It's only. Oh, wait, we missed this one? Apparently we missed a heart container here. So weird. Is it a two-player stage, or...? It's not. It's a gear him only stage. Ugh. We're gonna... we're gonna ignore that for now. At some point we'll have to boost gear him and we'll deal with it then. Okay then. Not... not horrible progress, but... That's where I'm gonna stop for today, so... Much appreciated, everyone, for stopping by. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, all that good stuff. Um, probably gonna send everyone over to Nolfi. Dude's playing Spyro. So good. I bought the Reignited Trilogy and I haven't played it yet, but at the same time, Spyro has like this nostalgic level for me, so I don't want to replay it just yet. But I'm cool watching it. Anyway, take care, guys. I'll see you all later.